What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Pray for the Gods, the new PS5, PS4 exclusive game. Uh, Sony, you know, just recently showed it just yesterday, and my God, I mean, it is something very, very cool. So we're going to break it down really quickly, and not to be a negative Nancy here, okay, because that's not even my first name. But the first thing I want to talk about is the name and kind of the confusion. It's Pray as in P-R-E-Y in the official logo, including on the YouTube video, including when you go on the website, the PlayStation blog, all that stuff, it's spelt like that. But then the name is P-R-A-E-Y, and that is the official title for the game. That's in all of the description that is uh, in the title for the YouTube video. That's the name for it. So why? I get it. It's like, a, I don't know, not necessarily a pun, but I, like, I, you know what I mean? I understand why they did it because you could just do it like that. But with that being said, it's just kind of confusing that your logo and the name are not, they're the same word, kind of, but they're, they're not spelt the same way. You know what I mean? So, not again, not to be negative, I, I don't think that's going to, it's, it, this is a small game. It's made by, what, three people, they said? There's literally three people on the development team. That's, out, I mean, I don't even know, outstanding is one word, but I don't even know a, a word to describe how incredible it is that they, three people, created this. Now, I believe what they've been making this since 2016, so it's been a long time coming, a very long time coming, but bravo. So, maybe they should have had a four person to think about the title of the, of the game but besides that look I mean this is a to me it's a spiritual successor to Shadow of the Colossus in it in a different way I guess spiritual successor kind of means you are maybe even using you know like very very heavily borrowing I mean it's 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 its own game um, but at the same time I mean if this doesn't scream Shadow of the Colossus on next gen then I don't know what will the thing to keep in mind is, and they even admitted this is that it was made for the PS4 they had every Every intention that this was going to be a PS4 game. Now, the PS5 can do a lot of, they, they mentioned shadows, they mentioned like destruction physics, right, with like things breaking. They mentioned a couple different things. So it will be helped out by PS5. I guess I shouldn't lean too heavily into this is Shadow of the Colossus for PS5 because it's not. It's got a different look to it, a little bit more like cell shaded, like a Legend of Zelda. Like, and that's another one that people are saying, right? Is that it's kind of like a Breath of the Wild thing. It's not like fully. In, it's I don't know. It, it it does remind me of Breath of the Wild. There's just no doubting it. But it's in my mind. I mean, it's way and also like pray for the gods. The fact that you're fighting basically these titans. I mean, again, if that doesn't scream Shadow of the Colossus, I don't know what will. I mean. That's it. That's that's the biggest to me. That's the biggest draw because again, like it I don't think the story is going to connect. I don't think the colossi, let's call let's call them even I mean, well, I don't even know what you would want to call them, right? But I don't think there's going to be any massive like this is this literally is like a sequel say to Shadow of the Colossus, but I mean, if you want to do a game, this is how you do it. You know what I mean? This immediately I think gets anybody that liked Shadow of the Colossus, I think it gets them in again coming out on PS. So it's a it's a console exclusive, it's a PlayStation exclusive. It's not a PS5 exclusive though. It's PS5 and PS PS4, you get the free upgrade. If you get the PS4, uh, you'll get the uh, the free upgrade for PS5. Comes out quarter one in 2021. Now they said, I think they said early too. So. I, I don't know about January. I think February is a very solid thing. But you know what? It continues because we keep talking about Sony quite often, actually. And I'm sorry about it because we, I think we're actually going to have like three PlayStation videos in a row here. I'm not opposed to talking about Xbox or Nintendo, by the way. In fact, I do those quite often as well. But we talked about what's to come for PlayStation, how they can make 2021 special. Obviously, you're going to have the Horizons of the world. You're going to have the God of Wars of the world. You're going to have your big games, the Ratchet and Clanks, right? But how you also put these other games in that really separate yourself and make yourself very, I don't know, unique, but also like, okay, there's more value than just the big boy AAA games. While the indie games won't sell as well, won't sell even you know remotely close, they are still special. And even to me, I'm a big indie guy myself. I love playing indie games sometimes. In fact, multiple, I would say if I were to go back like the last five to 10 years and say my game of the year for each year, I would say 30 to 50% are indie games, are not big games whatsoever. And that's special. That's special to me. And so when you have a Kenna Bridge of Spirits and you have this game, Pray for the Gods, I mean, you're really starting to establish, or you have the Pathless, which you know, it's priced at forty dollars. I wouldn't necessarily call that an indie price, but I would I would call it an indie game, right? Along the lines of like a journey thing. So that's special, and this game just looks truly phenomenal. Like I'm very excited. Now again, should I lower my expectations? Because whenever you have 
well, you know, Among Us is a game made by like three or four people as well, right? Very, very different kind of game. I'm not saying that three people can't make a game that's like spectacular. At the same time, to expect it to be the greatest game ever, to be, uh, to expect it, honestly, I would even go so far to say to be like a sh- like like the same quality as Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, I think it's fair. I don't think it's uh, I don't I don't think it's guaranteed that they will do that, but I think it's fair to want that. And also, in all honesty, like this is a whole lot more uh, like uh, action oriented. You see them even like fighting smaller creatures that are not just like the big whatever again whatever you want to call them. But you see, I think a whole lot more fluidity to it. Shadow of the Colossus is very like um, I don't know like they're very stiff. Your, your character is very very stiff. But you also you know you're able to use different things like there's different uh, you know attack uh, variations or attack weapons in Shadow of the Colossus and by the way uh, I had played the remaster of Shadow of the Colossus on the PS3 it wasn't only until though the remake on PS4 that I actually played it from start to finish and my god Blue Point what an insanely insanely uh, good job I'm sure many many people agree with that too and I think honestly that was the first jump into it and that's another thing too you know with this modern age and the internet and stuff like that I mean think about it Shadow of the Colossus has, I would say, become more popular. I think Blue Point, again, made it even more popular with the remake. And now you have a game like this that, yeah, although it's an indie game, it's a smaller game. I think that it's going to do really well because you're going to have the people that were interested in it that are going to play it. Also, the earlier you come out in any console generation, the more eyes are going to be on you. That's just, I think, I, I guess technically maybe not factually, right? Because uh, I guess as the console sells more, you will have more people in it. But you also have to think about in the reverse where you're going to have a smaller amount of people now than you would, say, in five years from now. But there's also less games. So when you're looking through the games to buy, you're not looking at as many games as there will be in five years to which there will be tens of thousands, right? And your game could get buried. It's a really good opportunity for this game. So I'm excited. As you guys know, this game, you know, goes right up my alley. Games like this, like the Pathless, like really any of these kind of smaller indie games are right up my alley. Something that I would love to work with these guys. I'd love to to make videos on it. I will be playing this game day one, all of the all of that good stuff, right? This game is just a easily one that just gets me the second that you see the game. And and games are games that do that I feel like are kind of special in their own way right so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think are you excited for this game let me know all of your thoughts on it in the comments below as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up i do a brand new video on this channel every single day and so i hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video